Pittsburgh's Point State Park sits at the juncture of three rivers. To the south, the mighty Monongahela rises from the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. To the west lies the Ohio, an artery of the Midwest headed for the Mississippi. And to the north lies the Allegheny, the namesake of the county and the bearer of uncountable stories. Tracing the history of the Allegheny River brings us face to face with critical moments in the United States, from the relentless injustices of settler colonialism to the decline of the Rust Belt, from the birth of the fossil fuel economy to the seeds of state environmental protections, the river's meandering channel is a tour de force that shaped the country I call home. So join me on a journey down the Allegheny River as we explore its watershed moments. Half a million years ago, the Allegheny River didn't exist, at least not as we know it today. Instead, the land formed three local watersheds whose channels flowed northward into the ancestral Erie Basin. These upper, middle, and lower Allegheny systems were the progenitors of today's watershed. Between 500 and 300,000 years ago, however, a wall of ice would remake the landscape. It's difficult to understate the transformative nature of the successive North American ice sheets upon the region's geography. From the walls of the Hudson Fjord to the largest freshwater lake system on Earth, each wave of glaciers iteratively molded the features that have defined the North America we see today. Via their expansion and flood-making retreat across the northwest of the basin, the glaciers of the pre-Illinoian period forced the Lower Allegheny and Middle Allegheny to reverse course and join each other. Likewise, the Upper Allegheny would bend and join the Middle Allegheny near what is today Salamanca, New York. From this initial state, the watershed of the Allegheny River took shape. Connecting to the continent's other river systems, the Allegheny now forms the northeasternmost drainage of the Mississippi Basin, for which it is now a sixth-order tributary. Glaciers of the successive Illinoisan and Wisconsin glacial periods continued to shape the watershed's geography. Northwestern glaciers deposited alluvial materials of sand, gravel, silt, and clay in the valleys and eroded the hills, leaving a terrain of more consistent altitude. The eastern parts of the basin that were glacier-free remained more mountainous, forming a steady gradient westward. Located entirely within the physiographic province of the Appalachian Plateau, the watershed drains nearly 30,000 square kilometers. The plateau is characterized by sedimentary strata that have been repeatedly broken by folding and faulting. This geology has produced fractured rock aquifers that carry and store much of the basin's groundwater. Atop this layer, the material deposited by glaciers in the northwest is generally much more permeable and forms a network of easily accessible valley-filled aquifers across the watershed. The 520-kilometer-long river begins flowing in what is now Potter County, Pennsylvania, where it flows north into what is now New York. After around 80 kilometers, the river turns back south to re-enter Pennsylvania. Today, this portion of the river's run forms the Allegheny Reservoir, the river's largest retention area. After 190 kilometers of meandering through rolling hills, the Allegheny joins its southern neighbor of the Monongahela to form the Ohio River in what is today Pittsburgh. With an annual average discharge of 20,000 cubic feet per second, the Allegheny is the largest of the Ohio River's tributaries. While the basic topology of the river has remained largely unchanged since the end of the last ice age, the landscape and ecologies of the wider watershed continue to evolve. Starting in around 8,000 BCE, the climate began to warm substantially, arriving at modern temperatures approximately 4,500 BCE. The retreat of the ice sheets and warming of the climate enabled the formation of a lush local ecology. The Allegheny Valley became home to beech maple, northern hardwoods, white pine, and hemlock forests. Over 250 species of birds, over 80 species of fish, along with dozens of reptiles, amphibians, and mammals formed a diverse community of fauna. Habitats in the mountainous eastern headwaters are lower in nutrients, but remain cold year-round. Moving westward, streams tend to become warmer, hosting a greater diversity of aquafauna. Among this burgeoning ecosystem lived another species that will feature quite prominently in the remainder of these stories. Humans. 